This isn't just annoying. This 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 isn't just annoying to me. It's not just me. A lot a lot of people are annoyed by this. And of course they haven't changed it. Which they need to, because this sucks. What can I get you? I need a drink. I most certainly do after this. I'll need some more details before I can fi make a drink for you. If you need help figuring out what combination of ingredients you want, you should talk to one of the waitresses. That's what they're here for, after all. So, what do, you, do you want it to be hot or cold? Cold. What kind of flavor profile are, are you looking for? I'm going for... sour. How strong do you want this drink to be? A little pick-me-up. How would you like this drink to be served? In a stemmed glass. And last but certainly not least, what kind of garnish would you like? A drop of honey. That should be all the info I need. I'll put the drink on the bar when I'm done. And put a bill on your tab. Thank you. Oh, the interest on that. Nerve tonic. Talk to Cassidy. Do you have a drink for me? Try this. This drink is too cold. God damn it. You see what I mean? It's trial and error. I'm getting this chick booze and I'm just... I'm boozing her ass up. This sucks. I need a drink. Okay. Hot or cold? Hot. Sour. Pick me up. Stemmed glass. A drop of honey. Thank you. Pick up glass. Yeah. Okay, here's your fucking nerve tonic. Drink for me, try this. I love warm drinks, they're so relaxing. I'm glad you find the temperature pleasant. There's a lovely sour note in this drink. I feel so refreshed. I'm glad. I thought this would be right for you. There's just enough oomph in this drink to make it really stick with you. I like that. You look like a you could, you look like you could use a little pick-me-up. I love the style of the glass. What the fuck does the glass have anything to do with it? Come on! It accentuates the flavor of the ingredients. Aesthetics are important. The right glass makes the right drink even better, dumbass. Honey! Ooh, that little bit of sweetness is just perfect. It adds the most delightful note to each sip. I'm glad that... E that even the last drop of this drink is making you happy. And I say that with as much dripping sarcasm as I can muster. Ugh. Ah, that is marvelous. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. What tool was it you needed? A Quantum Flux Regulator Mark II? I have one of those right here. Please take it as a thank you. Oh, I hate you so much. Moving on. Now I'm always interested in what's going on over here. The right tool for the right job. I'll start making the adjustments, but I don't know if I've got enough time. You cannot change the laws of physics. The Treyarch energy levels keep rising, and sensors show the blasted comet is to blame. Modulating the shields is not going to be enough. Something needs to be done about the comet if we're going to live to see this morning. Captain, the station is safer now, but we still need to deal with the comet in orbit. If the Davidians are able to harness its energy, then they will be able to pull most of the sector into their phase variants. Past, present, it will all be disrupted. Beam back to your ship and destroy Driffin's comet. Lima, what are you doing up there? Pran's being a bad influence, I swear. I need a drink. And here comes the what the hell really moment. Captain, this is as close as the comet's trajectory. This is as close as the comet's trajectory. We'll take it to Jazana Station. We need to destroy the comet while we still have time. 
Sir, a group of Klingon vessels have entered the system. The leech ship is hailing us, sir. Putting it on screen now. Ah, a ship from the House of Duras. I am Captain Bavat, son of Warat and leader of my house. My brother died due to Duras's treachery. I will avenge his death with the destruction of a hundred Duras ships. Prepare to die. Really, Drake, you didn't know this was going to happen? I'm calling bullshit. You sent me here to die. Captain, we can't afford to change the course of events any more than they have been altered already. And we know that Captain Bavat survives this day. We'll need to attempt to disable his forces. He'll be calling for reinforcements. We need to destroy the common and return to our time before we're overwhelmed. So, yeah. And they will cut through your goddamn shields like nothing. And you will be overwhelmed, and they will constantly keep fucking spawning and swarming you. So, I'm gonna fuck with the timeline, and I'm going to launch a bunch of shit. I'm gonna fuck with the timeline, because I don't have the time to screw with these losers. Fuck you, Bavat. It's kind of interesting that my ship can fight Borg. And as soon as you take these guys out, more Klingons are going to spawn. They're going to keep continuously spawning. There's nothing you can do about it. And, uh, the comet is going to divide into much smaller parts, and now we have a bunch of other Klingon ships to deal with. Hooray! Okay. So you've got to stop and deal with these guys, otherwise you're going to get killed. Again, why 23rd century Klingon ships are able to damage you, I don't know. The technological edge you should have on these guys is monstrous. And they are able to eat through my shields. And I'm unsure if they spawn in every time you destroy a Comet Fragment, or every time you destroy a stage of the Comet Fragments. Because the Comet Fragments have multiple stages to them. But, uh, they keep spawning in, and you are going to have to deal with them if you don't want to die immediately. Which slows down this mission a lot. Yep, they spawn in every time you destroy something, and this space is going to get incredibly, incredibly fucking crowded. So yeah, I'm launching Scorpion Fighters, I've separated my ship, I'm doing whatever the fuck it takes, because fuck these people, fuck the timeline. But that already knows the future anyways, and so does his clan, so it's kind of hard to... So does his house, I mean. House, clan, they're all the same. But, uh... I'm making this look easy right now. Trust me, the first time you go through, it's not. Uh, it's also getting harder because my targeting is targeting all the de disabled ships as well. I almost said decapitated. The, de the decapitated ships. 
That would be that would just have been weird. Hard ping. Alright, I'm not seeing any other uh, D7 cruisers. Let's go take out this Comet Fragment here. I'm not going to high yield because my fighters are already going to be launching a shit ton of torpedoes. That's the other thing. Oh shit, I don't want to blow this thing up yet because they're blowing up that one. <laughs> I don't want to bring that many Klingon cruisers in here. I'm fucked. But yeah, the first time you go through here, you're trying to concentrate on the Drifton's Comet, and you're unwittingly bringing in more and more Klingons. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Yep, we've got company. Oh, well, we've got company. Let's see. Suck it. I yield. Quantum torpedoes. Alright. Where is that comet? So yeah, they show up whenever you defeat the next stage of the comet. I sh if they're here, I should be able to see them. I don't see them yet. They're not here yet. All right. Okay, once this is destroyed, let's see if they show up. You won't be rid of me until you're burning in Grethor! Helm, ramming speed! Captain Bavetship has taken a lot of damage. We can't risk firing on it without damaging it further. Uh, that means time to get the fudge out. It's time to hurry this shit up. Come back. So yeah, the group I was in, the one that I was talking about managing to survive in, that was weird. That did it, Captain. The remaining comet debris is too small to be a threat. Now we just need to find a way to... One moment, sir. I'm detecting a temporal anomaly. It's forming inside the Walglinde. DP, if you are receiving this message, then you and your crew have completed your mission. Dreffen's comet is destroyed and the Davidians are no longer a threat to the Federation. 
You've done well, and to prove that I'm not the immoral monster that some make me out to be, I'm going to help you. When you last docked at Deep Space K-7, I had some modifications made to your vessel. One of those is the addition of a Borg temporal node salvaged from a cube in the Batran Cluster. It's set to return you to your time. Congratulations on a job well done. Drake out. <sighs> Back in my normal ship. See, uh, that, um, that, the finale of that mission is much more painless uh, when you know what to do. But the first time you're going through, you're trying to concentrate on the comet, and you're getting swarmed by Klingon ships. You gotta stop, you gotta deal with them. You don't just start blowing up comet pieces. You're not on a timer. Um, at least, I don't think you are. Uh, if you are, the timer takes long enough for you to deal with them, especially if you're in an escort. If you're in an escort, you've got enough time to deal with those Klingons and take them out and go back to the comet. So there you go. That's the, uh, that's the way to deal with the comet and survive. Gotta take your time on it. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The disappearance of Driffin's Comet in the 23rd century will be a scientific curiosity. I've taken steps to suppress information that might reveal our involvement, and I trust you and your crew will refrain from telling stories about what happened here. As for recording it and putting it up on YouTube and or Blip, uh, eh. After all, we're getting along so well. One thing I hope you'll take away from all this is that my opinion... Is that my opinion you may have... Ah! Sorry. One thing I hope you'll take away... I'm used to all the bad grammar. One thing I hope you'll take away from all this is that any opinion you may have of the immorality of so-called rogue elements like Section 31 is a bit naive. You attempted genocide. Yeah. <laughs> it's not naive to think of the people who are willing to attempt genocide as... immoral. You know? Am, is it just me? Contrary to popular opinion among some Starfleet officers, we do not spend our days plotting evil and committing random acts of villainy like characters in a bad hollow novel. Yes, you do. <laughs> I've seen Deep Space Nine. We protect the Federation from threats. Thanks to you, the Davidians are no longer on that list. If you think about it, everything we do is to preserve the freedoms you so enjoy. You should be grateful. Okay, Klingon Disruptor Pistol. 100 DPS, 98 DPS, 90 DPS, structure damage, compression bolt. Oh, so it's a compression bolt pistol. I see. Let's see, stun beam setting. This is great, and uh, you can carry more than one. So if you want to deck out your uh, entire bridge crew and TOS weapons, just run Knight of the Comet a few times. Um, let's see, Knight of the Comet and uh, Past and Perfect. So, what shall I pick? What shall I pick? This might be the most difficult thing I've done so far in this mission, because I... Well, I already have these two. Let's go ahead and get that Klingon Disruptor Pistol. Okay, so it wasn't the most difficult thing I've had to do in this mission so far. Overlord! Overlord... USS Overlord Blood. Got like a biohazard symbol. Your ship is a biohazard. That doesn't really send the great message, does it? Like all those flaming cryptic avatars on the official forums right now because of the free to play. So wait a minute. I think somebody actually there's a like, there's a bunch of users who are wearing uh like flaming cryptic avatars with like a big no sign on it. Uh, and it's like people are trying. Others chime in. So, what you're saying is no fires at Cryptic? Fire safety at Cryptic Headquarters? It's, I don't think that's the message you're trying to convey. I don't know where I'm going right now, but I'm going there. Let's go ahead and skip. Let's go ahead and go, uh, go to K7.
I like K7. K7 is, has always been kind of... Like, ever since I got the transwarp to K7, K7 has been my base of operations because the hub lag here is... There's a minimum a minimal amount of hub lag. No, there isn't the shit tons of players running around. There is a uh, space dock and DS9. And most... Most of the things you use... That shit. Most of the things you use uh, a starbase for can be... You can use K7 for. Okay. Join a team for what? Is he just spamming team invites? Because if he is, I'm going to leave. Hmm. I don't know. It's not like I can do anything right now anyways, because i got to render. And then i got to record Symphony of the Night. i got work to do today. Hi. Hi? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so that was Night of the Comet. That was the end of the uh, Davidian Featured Episode Series and the final, final mission. Finally. Finally the final mission in uh, the Klingon arc. So we're going to be starting the Romulan arc with Minefield eventually so uh yeah this has been star trek online rise of the red shirt the klingon arc and i have been alchemisted and i will see you all later so later